Is, is there someone narrating this? Or yeah. Uh, well, uh, not really. <laughs> There's not like a voice. Okay. It's just feet. Or One five. dark, fateful day, the earth cracked wide and malevolent forces rushed forth from the fissure, the anal fissure. Anal fissure? Uh-huh. Yeah, Phi is kind of Ouch. Dirty, but not really. They mounted a brutal assault on the surface people, driving the land into deep despair over the anal fissures. Anal fissures definitely caused despair. They burnt forests to ash, choked the land's sweet springs, and murdered without hesitation. See, so what I like about this game is that it's kind of tying all of the story together. Like, it's kind of a, a, a like, retroactive... Oh. Yeah, so the time timeline-wise, yeah. non-spoilers, is that this is the first game in the entire Zelda series. Huh. They did all this in their lust to take ultimate power, protected by her grace, the goddess. The goddess Hylia. So the, now there's a goddess Hylia. Is this the one with the... Shit, I'm forgetting the name. Hey, listen! No, no that's our grand time. Oh, okay. Oh, fuck, I missed the line. Headed down by gods of old, the power of... The, 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 the holder means to make any desire a reality. That was kind of like Shadow of the Colossus. Such was the might of the ultimate power that the old ones placed in the care of the goddess. Huh. To prevent this great power from falling into the hands of the evil swarming in the lands... Breath. Rose the goddess gathered the surviving humans in a, on an outcropping of Earth. Those look like weird humans. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm convinced that those are humans. She sent it skyward, beyond the reach of the demonic horns, beyond the... Even the clouds. Of the clouds. Even the clouds. Even. I can't even the clouds. Yeah, so... Shit happened. Bad shit happened. With the humans safe, the goddess joined forces with the land dwellers and fought the evil forces, sealing them away. At last, peace was restored to the surface. What? <laughs> Ew. Ew. I'm the one who's supposed to be sneezing. I'm King Patty. Yeah. I'm not even allergic. <laughs> um, so yeah, basically, this tan. that. You humans have told for many ages, generation you, to generation. You humans. Okay. Who are you calling you <laughs> humans? You people. What do you mean, you people? There are other legends long hidden away from memory that are cool. <laughs> now a legend found in this great story stands ready to be revealed. <laughs> There's some pretty cool tales out there. Let me tell you. A legend that will be forged by your own hand. <laughs> Um, yay! Instructional yay. video! No, no, no. <laughs> We're not going back to that. Also, I'm Brandon, by the way. Hello. Yeah. You may have this seen him Chris. on VG Dustoff. VG Dustoff, yeah. Welcome this back to Relay, on. by the way. Oh, this is weird. Yeah, it's... You won't have oh. to use it too much. Uh, wow, it really registers, like... Yeah. We Motion Plus is actually That's a good feature. Yeah. Uh, how many letters do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Uh, ha, ha, um... Poop butt will fail. Oh, or I could just hit B. I'm already <laughs> failing the menu. How does this happen? All right, how the fuck do I... There's a shift. Caps. There's a shift I and caps. Actually aim at that. All right. Yeah. Um... You can hear it vibrating. I wonder if you can hear that on capture. The... What? We're gonna be twice. Well, sounds good. <laughs> I the only reason I'm kind of bummed that we ended up not playing. Um, I really wanted to play Twilight Princess. Twi Twilight Princess. It's the one game I haven't seen played in a long time. Yeah, I, I was gonna name my guy Edward because we're gonna save Belda. But but, but turns out that the Twilight Princess is is no more. That thing's scary. That's the imprisoned. What does that remind me of? Um. Some, did you ever read Bone? Bone? It's this graphic novel sort of thing, or a series of graphic novels that, um, it's about this little, like, he's, this, he looks like a bone, basically. Like, you've got these bone people, they all kind of, like, they're like short and white, like, just pure white. Okay. And, like, big noses, and there's, like, all these weird magical creatures and everything. Like, it's really worth checking out. And you, you kind of get, like, that giant creature there, the, those kind of remind me of, like, a little these little dudes they're just kind of a horde of enemies okay yeah the imprisoned is the main 
bad guy in this game. And so uh, live in, they're dead. <laughs> so you live in Skyloft. Okay. You are the like the humans that were taken up by the goddess Hylia, and you live in this very small island of or a little like town of islands, which is weird because it's been, I assume, hundreds of years because they don't really believe in a lot of them. They, like, do all the rituals and stuff, but they don't really believe in magic all that much. <laughs> Fuckers. Oh, uh, it's like, there it's, goes it's your like, hand. It's like every Zelda game where it's like, they... Yeah. They they know of the legends, but they don't actually see it happen until Link goes and, like, unlocks everything. Uh-huh. So, there had to be a lot of inbreeding going on. <laughs> like, they haven't seen anyone from the surface in hundreds of years. Absolutely. <laughs> so, yeah, you... you. Oh, hey. Yeah. It's cool, because you're not, like... But it's, it's another one of those games where, you know, you're just Link, and you have a call to action... You gotta go fight the dude. Cause the whole rise, Dwan, the time for come. <laughs> the time for come has come. Yeah, that's that's whoops. That's your that's your navi in this game talking to you. Oh. Yeah, basically. Oh, so I thought it was the giant thing no, talking. No, you can't hear you it. You are fated to have a hand in a great destiny and it will soon find you. Wait, she actually has a voice though in the game, doesn't she? Sort of. She doesn't talk in English. Oh, that, oh, oh yeah, I, I, I heard it, I heard it, yeah. yeah. We, we have the volume turned out a bit. Time has come for you to awaken. Twad! <laughs> I'm in love with this name Your already. Name backwards is doubt. Huh, symbolism. I doubt that I can spell correctly. I mean, it wouldn't... Oh, God! He was dreaming. Uh, I woke him up. Okay. So, yeah. This game is alright. It's not the greatest Zelda game, but it's definitely not a bad one. <laughs> like, it's just, you know... I know Zelda Ego Raptor is not a fan. No, but, like, <laughs> it's also... it's. I mean, it's it's just... I to love me, him. it's too simple. Like, the, all the dungeons are yeah. real easy. Oh, really? I believed. Yeah, that's something that, um... I've actually only ever beaten one Zelda game, and that was A Link Between Worlds. I played A Link to the Past as a kid on my Game Boy. Never beat it? But I never beat it. I, I got into the... Uh, like the dark world and everything. Hey, sleepyhead! I know how much. Who is this? Uh, this is Zelda. Little... Hey, sleepyhead! I know how much you like to sleep in, so I'm guessing this letter will be your alarm clock this morning. Did I guess right? <laughs> That's R- your Zelda. Rise and shine. To- <laughs> See, this is what's really nice. About Aaron kind of got me on that. <laughs> like, today is the wing ceremony. You promised me to meet. Before fuck, before b- before f- hey baby, you want some fuck? You better not keep me waiting. A wink. So here's the interesting thing: this game is one of the few Zelda games where there's actually a romantic relationship between the two. Oh hell yes! Or at least there's they hint at it. Gonna get me fully. some Zelda poon. Uh, okay, so I can dash into this closet. Also, if you're annoyed by having the Wii mode on your screen, you can turn off. So I it just am shows annoyed the by that. that. You can. There's like a simplistic, simplistic view that like buries, puts all the extra stuff away except for like your items that you have equipped. This is a very strange aesthetic for uh, for Zelda. All right, so wait, how do I get it? Uh, start. Which is oh, plus. Oh, it's not that. It must be one or two. 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 Nope, that's nope. one. Oh my god, what? Turn page. Oh, you actually... Wow, that's kind of cool. Like, it's weird as fuck, but... Weird. Uh, you just kind of swoosh, swoosh. Oh, fuck. Huh. Um, Maybe it no, was that's not it. Minus? Maybe you just can't do it yet. I can lock on and get that letterbox thing going on here. Uh, I want to write a book. You want to write a that, book? That's what I do. But that's it. <laughs> <laughs> what, a, what a game! <laughs> and the way he just like looks at the chair after he gets up, like he just says, like I'm gonna sit down now. <laughs> you whore! <laughs> Who else is sad in you? <laughs> <laughs> All right, have I done everything I can do in here? Yeah, the, okay. you got the the one five rupee, the blue rupee, and that was pretty much it. What's up with this little like corsage, cor- corset, cor- yeah, cor- what that's is that? weird, like. It was kind of similar in Twilight Princess. Hey, you, baby. You would, like, wear it. But oh, God, shirtless. you're a dude. So he, okay, so here's what's cool. So there's the knights, like, the people who protect 
uh, the Skyloft are called the Knights. I don't know if they have like a special name, but they're knights, and they're like the knights. Um, the knights wear like the hero outfit, uh-huh. and every year they do a different color. Oh, that's and cool. this so, year is the year of green. That's awesome. So it, like, it's all coincidental. It's like, oh, yeah. do you remember how like the hero always wears green? Well, guess where that came from? And they're like basically retroactively. That's neat. Putting in every I like that it. happens. Can I can I punch this dude by like? Ha! <laughs> no, I am you, you absolutely die. in this game, which is crazy. Uh, that is absolutely gonna happen <laughs> since I have a Wiimote and I'll be like swinging the sword myself. Gonna be making me some link sounds. He looks like an Hey Twad! Yeah, it's straight up like um, Elrond. And not Elrond, <laughs> uh, like Legolas' dad. I don't the, even know Legolas' dad. I, I don't remember his name. I don't know enough about Lord of the Rings. The day of the wing ceremony the Rings, is but... finally upon us. It's time to put what you've learned to use. All of these practical skills I taught you, and all the academic prowess instructor Horwell taught you. What a name. While we're at it, do you remember to look around using C? Press C. Okay. Yeah, this is all... I mean, if you know how to play Zelda, you... Oh, yeah, you can... Uh, so there's a cor- oh, okay. Yeah, you can do that, which is awesome. Oh, neat. All right. So... Oh, shit. No, no, no. Oh. <laughs> now he tells you who he is. I'm Olin. I have white hair Olin. and I teach practical skills. <laughs> wow. What? <laughs> That's practical advice. <laughs> he has brown hair and he teaches um, academics. What color hair did he have? So I can, like, oh, well, I guess it so doesn't yeah. really matter until you get your sword. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Whoa. Yeah, that's gonna be a dumb mechanic later. That's Groose. Oh, you can't go with Groose's. <coughs> oh, I am sorry. Groose is sorry, sorry. one of the best characters in this game. Or probably oh, the best. Did he say go upstairs or something? Yeah, you can go I'm outside, gonna, yeah. I'm just I think it's upstairs. Twad! There you go. If you're heading over to the plaza, the quickest way is, is the door on the ground floor. Okay, I don't so know sorry. Was I was wrong. Ground floor. The exit on the top floor is locked, so you obviously can't go out there. What's taking the lunch lady so long? I'm going to have a word with her later. This dude's just like on crack. Okay, so that's locked upstairs? Yeah, so you just go to the end of this hall. Alrighty. And on the right, I believe. What's up, weirdo? Oh, yeah. oh you're definitely a weird. Good morning, twat. Today's a big ceremony, right? Look at that rosy, rosy <laughs> cheeks. I wanted to fly, too, but I couldn't make the cut, so I'm stuck back here at the yeah, academy. He's pretty terrible. Plus, I've got to move these barrels over to the kitchen. I was hoping to at least be able to cheer you on, twat, but I guess that's the way it goes. Get out there and wow them, buddy. You're like the best flyer. You also have a rare red oh, loft yeah. wing. <laughs> yeah, All right, time to pee. <laughs> Apparently, there's a there's like a Easter egg in this game where there's... There's a ghost that appears in the toilet. <laughs> not even kidding. <laughs> it's a real thing. It's not like a glitch or somebody on the internet. It's like a thing. Gotta poop. <laughs> you gotta take your pants he, he off. He sits down just like he sat in the chair. Just take. like, just hands on knees. <laughs> Kid was never a potty trained. <laughs> Does he just shit his pants every single time? <laughs> yeah. He just like, I'm gonna go to the bathroom now. And he just sits down on the toilet and you just like... You get, and then like while he's sleeping, off. his mom comes and like cleans it up. Just no one ever tells him. Ooh, that nose. The hair. Where in the clouds is the fledge boy? You're supposed to be bringing me barrels. He's on the other side of the wall. Like, literally on the other side of this wall. Yeah, you can... Like, there's not even a wall. Wait, oh. There's a little bit of a wall. Okay, yeah. She's like, check, right, check through the window. Right, right there. Oh, her head looked aerodynamic. Yeah! Oh, yeah. And this I'll is tell the you game. Where it's gonna go. Alright, so... So that big door right there is where you want to go. Oh, okay. Yeah. That, that big door. Hold on. First, I have to... Ew, that's position yourself. <laughs> scared the crap out of him. <laughs> I need to not cross my legs. They're falling asleep. Yeah, it's a little cramped. I'm getting... We're, it'll be better when I move into a house and have, like, a room with more space. This is definitely a better, like, recording room than I have. <laughs> Much less... I mean, I've got all my systems over here. Yeah. I've got my TV. I've got this futon. I've got this these tables for the mic and everything. Skylift. And I positioned it as well as I could, mm-hmm. so... I think I did a pretty good job. Now all you need is games all over the walls and, like, action figures and shit. And you got a grump room. That's true. Hello. That's a safe spot. Oh, that's probably a good thing to do. 
Uh, that's yeah, it's still funky. You don't. I'm not quite used to the Wii Motion Plus yet. Yeah, I think you can. If you point away from the screen, you can use the left stick to control oh, okay. menus. It's locked. Balls. So you can sprint, but you have a stamina oh, wow. here. Yeah, and there's these little little green stamina fruits. Boss. Whoa! Yeah, you can do some pretty cool parkour. Whoa! No, no, go, go right. Turn. Yeah, go up that rock. That the, those there. Hey, oh. twat up here. He's gonna want you to go up there. Oh, what's up? Nope. That's Horwell with Weird. brown hair. He's got brown hair. <laughs> I still can't tell the difference. They do look exactly they the same. They all look the same to me. Look this I think they one. like designed both characters and were like, oh god, what have we done? I think we're gonna have to tell them Ooh. which one is which yeah. by their hair color. Excellent. Always remember you can press Z to target someone. This Once is classic, someone classic Zelda. Uh-huh. Like, acknowledging the controls. the second thing you do in every Zelda game is, hey, look up here and target me. Uh-huh. Oh, I stopped paying attention. Oh, okay. I, I understand. You already know how to do these things. I figured it out on my own because of intuitive brain things. Oh, yeah. I like that. It's the yeah, I get it factor. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I get it. Do you want to hear this again? <laughs> sure. I get it. I, yeah, I get I, it. I get it. Got all that? Just, just keep going. Keep hitting that A button. Oh, oh yes, auto jump. Something I like to call auto jump, a feature that oh, sounds... Oh, good. Okay, I'm just going to ignore you. Yeah, just keep going. <laughs> Those little green front stamina fruits. Are you important? You look important. He looks pretty sweet. Look at that jacket. Ooh. Okay, never mind. Ew. Like his, like his stash. And now his hair is always blowing. And up. acne. Yeah. More to twat. How's life? I think life? supposed to be like... even get a wink really, sleep last night. Really bad five o'clock shadow. Yeah. I think that's what they were going for, but it definitely just looks like acne. But you know, I've been just tossing and turning all night thinking about a big ceremony today. What am I doing? Oh, we're just fixing this gate here. It's much squeaky likely. We can't have that on the day of the ceremony. Just don't open the fucking gate, dude. Scruffy don't like squeaky doors. <laughs> Scruffy don't like the squeaky doors. Send your prayers <laughs> to the goddess this morning, have you? Face the bird statue over there and say a short prayer to save your game. <laughs> we gonna pause? Yeah, we're pausing. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> We're back. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, shit. What was the name of Scruffy? Yeah, you're doing Scruffy. Yeah, you're doing voice. Scruffy. As you know, these bird statues are all over Skyloft. It's all about time you get in the habit of stopping at a statue every time you run by one. <laughs> a prayer in time saves nine, if you know what I'm saying. A what? My cat? Is that what you're saying? You're saving, saving isn't that, my life? Isn't that, a, isn't that like a different saying? Can I pick this up? Oh, my God. <laughs> you got a stamina fruit. I can't. I <laughs> went right back into that voice. It's peculiar fruit replenish. There's just stanima. 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 Yeah, I got lots of stanima. See? You can't do this without stanima. <laughs> That's how I get upstairs. It's pretty efficient, actually. <laughs> yeah. So if you, yeah, you just run over them and it refills your okay, gauge. that's good. See, so if you're, like, running. Uh, I see. Yeah. So you're, like, super important because, like, the main, like, bird. Zelda's dad, who looks like... Hippora Gabora, the uh -huh. owl from Ocarina of Time. Cat. <laughs> um, he wants you to win so that you can be in the ceremony at the end. Link looks very effeminate. A little bit. Is that cat gonna tear down the blinds? <laughs> Only. <laughs> that was hilarious. If the, there's a fly still in here. So yeah, okay, she. Okay, so who's actually talking here? That's. It's never that's Zelda. Is it actually. That's Zelda singing the the ballad of the goddess. Oh, youth, guided by the servant of the goddess. Unite earth and sky, bring light to... Hey, what the fuck are you doing in here? Good morning, Twad. <laughs> Good, Good morning, Twad. So glad to see my loft wing got you out of bed. I was pretty sure you'd sleep in and forget to meet me this morning. It really kind of does it's that. It's real outside. great how I can talk to you with my lips. <laughs> oh, that happens in Bloodborne, and it drives me crazy. Because, like, I'll zoom in on people, and they'll just be, like, mouth closed. And there's not even that many people to yeah. talk to in Bloodborne. They could have animated it pretty easily. Pretty easily. It's a very good look. Especially because a lot of them have masks, you mm -hmm. know? Aren't they beautiful? Especially this instrument. They tell me it's just like the one the goddess has said to have in the legends. It sounds gorgeous, too. I asked Father about it, and he says it's called a herp. A herp. <laughs> See, I'm gonna give my herp to you. 
and look at these clothes. I <laughs> Between the herp and this outfit, I'm going to make a great goddess today. Yeah, so the ceremony is basically you meet with the um, goddess at the top of the statue. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, I'd bang Zelda. Ooh. Apparently not. No, no, this is... He's this so is satisfied with him, so he's like, I gave her just enough, like... <laughs> like, I, I beat up her emotions just enough that she'll like me. Exactly. This is called negging. This is how you get girls, kids. Oh, hello, father. Father. Yeah, so ah. that's, that's like the leader. You, you should take his voice. Actually, sorry, he doesn't look like a poor boy. He looks like the king of red lions from Wind Waker. Oh, yeah, also he does. known as, he's basically the father of the royal family. You should be his voice. Do it. I should. Do it. Do it. <laughs> A twad. You're here too? Outstanding. It's encouraging to see you up so early, given your capacity for sleep. No doubt today's ceremony had you too excited to close your eyes for once. Now give me a hug, <laughs> son. Wait, you whoa, incest. If you win today's ceremonial race, you'll get to participate in the post-race ritual with Zelda, so give it your best out there. Remember, use a condom. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah. <laughs> yes, about that. I gave him the herp. The herp. Uh, <laughs> Did you see his reaction? He's like, no! He's like, what? No! I don't know if he can do it. He can't stick it in. <laughs> Recently, Twad hasn't been practicing much at all for the ceremony. He's been doing the one man. I gotta go see a doctor for this. <laughs> <laughs> the reaction on Blink's face is priceless. And even when he's out riding his loft wing, he's just lazily gliding around, probably daydreaming or thinking about how you gave him the herp. <laughs> just like, fuck. I don't know what he's thinking. He's gotta have a, to be in perfect control of his bird to win today. Well, it's a good thing we haven't had a now, story now, about Zelda. that. No need to worry yourself, Zelda. I've got plenty of condoms for later. There we go. Though you, oh, okay. victory will not come easily. You know what I mean. <laughs> oh, you want me to read this? Oh, yeah. And, as you pointed out, I haven't seen him practicing as hard as some of the other students. But you've known him since you were both very little. You should know him better than to fret about him. You see, Twad and his loft wing share a special connection. I've never seen anything quite like it. It's kind of like how you and Link were in bed the other day. Now let's just wistfully look off into the sky. As you know, each of us in Skyloft is one half of a pair. <laughs> a pair that ends in sex. <laughs> we're only made whole by our loft wings. The guardian birds that the goddess bestows upon each of us as a symbol of her divine protection. When I hear the word pear, I just think of the fruit. <laughs> so each of us is one half of a pear. When we are young, every one of us meets our fruit under the great statue of the goddess. It's a quite big moment, as I'm sure you recall. Ah, uh, but that first meeting between Twad and his fruit was extraordinary. I should just say a different fruit every time that mentions Loftwing. <laughs> yeah. That bird that came to him was a crimson apple. It is a breed so rare we were sure for some time that it had vanished from the line. The Congo line. Yes, and the boy and his pair seem to be share a profound connection from the moment they met. Okay, bird's important. Starting to stop caring. Okay, yeah, we're gonna... <laughs> like birds. They're all bananas. They're all bananas. Uh, okay, they kind of yeah. do look like their beaks are bananas. Yeah, they kind of do, actually. He's feeling the connection between him and his Or are they dog mango. masks? Or what? Dog masks? You've seen that, I'm sure. Uh -uh. Like, ducks are all just wearing dog masks. <laughs> what? P pull up a picture of any duck <laughs> and just look at it, and it is absolutely wearing a mask. Okay. I'm going to search duck on Google. Duck. I'm gonna go to images. Literally all of them. Ah, you're gonna wanna like get a facing forward picture so you can like really see the beak. Like, 
Uh, like that. Actually, the yellow beaks are the best. That that one's a good one. Yeah. It's a dog mask. <laughs> it looks like a Keaton from Zelda, <laughs> which are foxes. This hair won't leave my screen. What if Todd messes up with big chance? Oh, I'm actually giving her too much emotion. Too much. Too much. What if he's not Bring allowed back. to become a knight? Ooh. ooh. Calm down, my dear. It will be fine. All right, we should just skip through all of this. Uh huh. In not important plot, Todd needs to get some dungeons here. We have not done anything of importance so far. <laughs> How long into this are we? Like twenty minutes. Fuck yeah, long first episodes. I like those long first the episodes because you have to get through all the tutorials. <laughs> yeah, shit. yeah. I, I hate it when any let's player like <laughs> tries to make you a full episode first... out of the beginning. Oh, oh, yeah. You can't sense your bird out there. Yeah, this is the biggest dick move ever. She's uh, like, oh, you can't sense your bird, even though you guys have a share special I connection? I see what's about to happen, and it's called murder. That is murder. I, I don't okay. give a shit. Just down like, and call your loft wing. And what if I don't? That's what happens when Norm, you know, you're calling him, but, uh... Uh... I, I think he's gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> he's fucked. She's like, he'll be fine. You just murdered your lover, Zelda. Yeah, she's got hers. It is a dog mask! <laughs> <laughs> They've got dog bills. <laughs> dog mask loft wing. Hang in there, Twat, I got you. You fucking shit. You grab him with the claws thing. instead of putting it on the back. Yeah. And he's just impaled. Feather like, split. And the and the bird's tired. This is insanely boring plot. Well, well, it's supposed to like set them like up it, as like somewhat normal. Yeah, like I like it, but it's taking too long. That's for sure. Oh yeah, they have to explain everything to you. Like it's like it's, every Zelda game. They're like, this is a Zelda game. Here's how you play a Zelda game. You're like, I know. Yeah, any normal person could figure this out on their own. Like, considering A Link to the Past's, like, intro plot was like, Hey, uh, don't I'm gonna go I'm, outside. Yeah, I'm going outside for a bit. Don't go outside. You do it. Fuck, I'm dead. Here's a sword. Go on adventures. <laughs> like, there you go. I got it. I played that far into the game and got through, the, like, the castle. Ooh. Uh, and then they were like, all right, go to the village. And then I was like, what do I do? And then I put the game down and haven't picked it up since. Yeah, it's a hard game. Link but it, the it, I mean, watching... Like Game Grumps play it, it's not hard. Watching Zelda then play Zelda 2, I'm like, man, I wanna go play Zelda 2. Yeah, that looks Bloodborne level, like, oh. can't handle it. Or Dark Souls. So much fun. I'm gonna cough real quick. No. <laughs> you're, not you're not allowed. Too late. Huh. Well, I nearly just vomited from. Oh. Hey, look, we have control of our character. Can I, um, curb stomp this fucker? Next time on replay, we'll curb stomp the motherfucker. Curb stomp.